was his name. <laughs> Jesus. And I was such a child about it. I was so sincere about every naughty thing I did. I thought this was it. This was, this was Boy Meets Girl. It wasn't quite Boy Meets Girl when Stritch was fixed up for a date with Frank Sinatra. As she walked into the party, the guests and Sinatra were all watching old blue eyes on television, all in rapt, polite attention, as Sinatra finished his song. I say, well, <laughs> you can say what you want, but the son of a bitch can sing. Well, Tony Curtis looks at Frank Sinatra and says, that's your date. And Frank takes me into dinner. Now, he had a few, my dear. So he said, so what do you do? I said, I'm in the theater. Oh, I got <laughs> So he said, let me tell you something. People in the theater ain't going no place. So I said, oh, really? Well, you know, Mr. Sinatra, for a long time, I've been wanting to ask you just where the hell you think you're going. And he got up and he said, get her out of here. You don't know how badly I felt. You know, I'm a nice dame. Why couldn't I go out and have a nice time with Frank Sinatra and talk about music? Because your mouth got in the way. My mouth got in the way, oh boy. No one on Broadway knows her better than producer-director Hal Prince. Elaine can be exhausting, but it's worth it. One of the things that makes it worthwhile is that she needs you and she respects you. If she doesn't respect you, I really wouldn't want to work with that woman. It was Hal Prince who saved her flagging career when he cast her in Stephen Sondheim's 1970 musical, Company. A documentary of the cast recording featured her singing that song for the ages. I'll drink to that. Here's to the girls who stay smart. Aren't they a gas? Some young kid asked me at some symposium, Miss Stritch, how do you think you looked in that? I said, I think I looked like Margaret Rutherford doing the life story of Judy Garland. <laughs> and it just about damn well said it. Another long, exhausting day. Another thousand dollars. A matinee, a pinter play. Perhaps a piece of Mahler's. I'll drink to that. In the early 70s, at age 47, Stritch married the actor John Bay. They were married for 10 years before Bay died of cancer. He was made for me and vice versa. What a great guy. Oh, you would have loved this guy. He was about as funny as, as a good looking guy can get. Okay, back in New York, mid 80s, on the set of Woody Allen's film, September. At the end of her final day of shooting, Stretch went on a bender. Three vodkas. What, it's the last day of the film, can't hurt. Rap party. So four vodkas. I mean, why, why not? Five vodkas, if I want them. The fifth vodka proved to be the last drink she ever had. She suffered a near fatal diabetic seizure. She's a fragile dame. Now, you look at her, you can see she's a fragile dame. You could break her like that. Yeah, but she's also like tempered steel. Like tempered steel. On the other hand, not. I believe that since my life began, the most I've had is just a talent to amuse. Stretch still has plenty of demons, but booze is no longer one of them. I want to read what my little book says. She's a recovering alcoholic who attacks that role with the same vigor she once expended on vodka. Great. Today I will accept all of me just as I am. I will put aside all judgments and I will rejoice in the miracle of my uniqueness. Yes. Looks like a few drinks have spilled on this book. In this Coffee, book. smart ass. <laughs> I wasn't reading this book when I was drinking. I didn't need this book when I was drinking. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Elaine Stritch at Liberty. I say to myself the little prayer that I say. They're playing in the verse of uh, "There's no business like and, show business," and, you're saying and I'm saying, "God, for Christ, you know, <laughs> what? wake up and let me sing, you know." But don't leave me tonight because this is very important. God's sheltering love protects me. God alone governs me. Every situation. I have done all I can. I have been to the hairdressers, I've exercised, I've got my makeup on, I learned my lines, I tried to get along with everybody I work with, I helped the director. And if I know that I did everything right all day long, I feel deserving of them saying, oh, that's terrific, Elaine. Everybody.